Discover a Magna Gate has been unlocked. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity. Now, I will say this ahead of time. Uh, that sort of welcome back type of thing I'm probably not going to be doing much more of throughout this LP because of the fact that it's blind and I'm not positive where I'm actually going to decide to split all of these recordings up for all the videos and such. So, no great loss there, I'm sure, but just just to be just something to be aware of that that's likely the last time you're going to hear me welcoming you back. Needless to say though, you are always welcome to back, welcome to be back and stuff. And yeah, access the feature of Magna Gates from the main menu and stuff and I'm saying and stuff a lot. My commentary is amazing. I think the main draw, honestly, I, I've said I've said this before, and I'll say it again. I think the main attraction for my LPs is probably my voice acting, which is not exactly professional, but it's still decent enough that a lot of people, well, mm, that I can't really say a lot. It's decent enough that the people who have watched my stuff tend to enjoy it. I think so. Yeah, that's something. And, like, again, my commentary, like, I tend not to think it's too great a lot of the time. But I don't think it's terrible either. Like, at least, you know, having not great commentary is not as bad as having, like, horrible commentary. So, and I don't think I have horrible commentary. And I don't know why I'm going into all this right now. I should just, like, move on with the game. I've had a great adventure today, and I should rest before I play more. How about no? I'll play as much as I want. Moon! Sorry, that's... That's, like, a reference to two things at once, but more than anything, that was actually kind of an in-joke that only one person is going to get. I, I... I'm not going to do that again if the moon shows up later, don't worry. I just... I had to do it at least once. Wow. Night sure comes fast around here, huh? Yeah, especially for the player of this game, for which night came, like, one minute later, pretty much. There's nothing at all here. I mean, of course there's not, but... Well... I guess we'll just have to camp out for the night. Guess so. <laughs> it's pretty cold, huh? I guess the first thing we need to do is build a house. That's true. If it started raining now, we'd be in a real mess. I'd like to be able to keep out the rain and wind, at least. Let's think about building a house tomorrow, yeah? Sleep tight, Galif. Sleep tight, water. Ah. <sighs> hmm, morning. I came to see how you two were surviving, hmm? Did you sleep well last night? Hmm? Morning, Quagsire. And no, not really. It was a little chilly. Turns out it's pretty tough to stay out of the wind when you've got no walls. So we're thinking that we'd really like to build a house. But we don't really know where to start. Hmm, well if it's a house you're after... I think there should be a carpenter or three somewhere in Post Town, hmm? Uh, huh? Really? Mm-hmm. If you ask them, they should be able to build you a house, hmm? Post Town is just a, hmm, quick walk from here. Want to check it out, hmm? Yeah. Let's go, Gallif. Let's find a carpenter to build us a house. I like this plan. I like having walls. This way, hmm? It sure is annoyingly empty- I mean, refreshingly empty around here, hmm? This way, hmm? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. A lot of traveling Pokemon come along this highway here, hmm? And so Post Town was built as a, hmm, nice rest stop for all those Pokemon. Post Town is just this way, hmm? Let's go check it out, hmm? Here we are, hmm? Uh, I like this music, and 
Something interesting, I mean, it, I don't know if it was intentional or not, but the very beginning part of the town theme there kind of reminded me of, actually, the beginning part of the town theme from Explorers of Sky, and, you know, here's an example of what I'm talking about. See what I mean? I, I, I might... Forgive me if I make comparisons or references to Explorers of Sky a lot, it's just... That was... Granted, there's only been two Pokémon Mystery Dungeons. Well, I mean, if you want to get technical, there's been five prior to Gates to Infinity, but basically there's only been two different games because the other ones were just different versions of the same game. But yeah, um, Explorers of Sky was kind of my favorite by far in the series so far. We'll see if this game can top it. I'd be surprised if it does, but I do think I'm gonna really like this game from what I've seen so far, one way or the other. It doesn't have to be better than the last game, it just has to be good on its own right. That's something that I think more people could stand up to look at games that way. It seems like a lot of people will kind of get upset if a game comes out and it's not as good as the last games, even if it's still really enjoyable in its own right. But anyway, uh, let's not go on rants. Let's just enjoy more of the game here. Mm-hmm. This is Post Town. It's a pretty nice little town. Wow, I would have expected it to be quieter somehow, but it's surprisingly lively here, isn't it? Mm-hmm. This town is quite famous for having the best water. So visiting Pokémon all drink their fill and wash away their fatigue, hmm? I suppose that's why everyone tends to gather here, hmm? There are a lot of, hmm, shops and things, too. That strange box over there is a deposit box, hmm? You can deposit your items and poke there, and then, hmm, take them out later. Which is good for keeping them safe when you go to dungeons. You usually don't want to take all your stuff with you because, well, for one, you... I, I mean, you don't want to take all your items with you because you want room to carry more, but you also don't want to take all of your money with you generally because if you faint, then you lose, like, half your money or something, and then you're sad because you didn't leave any of it behind safe and sound in the box. And there's the general store. You can buy all kinds of items there. Hmm. There's also the inn and its restaurant. Hmm, and all kinds of places. You should feel free to use any of the shops you'd like. Hmm. What are you doing? You just hit me on purpose, didn't you? That hurt, you oaf. All I did was brush you with my beak. What's the big deal? Don't go throwing a fit over every little bump. Hmm. Huh. Whoa, they seem a bit touchy. And none of the other Pokémon even tried to step in. Everyone's a bit on edge these days, hmm. It seems the strife between Pokémon just, hmm, keeps scaring worse. From what I, hmm, hear, it seems that everyone's nerves are a bit strained. Some Pokémon even think it's because of the spread of the Mystery Dungeons, hmm... Hmm... But who can really say for sure? You're right. Relationships between Pokémon are definitely sour these days. More and more Pokémon are only looking out for themselves. Did you see how no one even tried to stop that fight just now? There's just no trust between Pokémon anymore. Kinda reminds me a lot of the human world in that respect. Ever heard of Bystander Syndrome? I wish everyone would be friendlier, but... The world does seem a bit dark these days, hmm. Though I wish it weren't. Well, never mind all that, hmm. You two needed, hmm, a carpenter, right? I'll go have a look around, hmm. While I do that, you two can, hmm, check out the town. Alright, thanks, Quagsire. Advice Bulletin. Whenever I'm in Post Town or in Paradise, I will be able to save a record of my adventure from the X, -me X menu, but when I want to do that, I can just open it and save. Yes. 
kind of redundant and obvious there. Quagsire has gone off to find a carpenter for us, so... I guess we have to use this time to look around town, huh? Yes, let's do that. Where are you going, Galif? Quagsire is going around searching for a carpenter for our sake, you know? Let's just stay here in town a bit longer and wait for him, okay? But that is in town. I just wanted to explore more. I'll just talk to a couple people around here, like you, pet rats. Sorry? You think I should have stepped in to stop that fight? Well, I wouldn't want to get dragged into it now, would I? That's why everyone pretends not to see a thing. Hmm. That kind of happens a lot in real life, though. I can kind of understand. The name's Rampardos, the Box Buster! You got a treasure box for me? I'll have it open in a jiffy. Or I would, but the shop's actually closed right now. I busted it up a bit too much. Sorry about that. I have not... Uh, I did not say nay to a wee gift, but then whoever would? My accent is not the best, but I try, ah. Uh. That's not even right at all. Ah. The wrapping sure is pretty on friend gifts, isn't it? I bet it would be great to receive one. You, Rufflet, talk to me. You are my favorite bird. I love the evolution that Rufflet gets. Fights like that happen all the time around here. Mmm, that's bad news. This is the gift shop. Here I make gifts just how my customers like them. But right now I am out of material for wrapping paper, so I can't open up shop. I'm sure I'll be open again later. So I'm sorry, but could you wait until then? Sure thing, we'll check it out later, and maybe even make some use of it, depending on how the gift things work. If this relies on street pass, I'm not going to be making any use of it at all. There just aren't people around here for me to street pass with. No one has a 3DS. Hmm, you two. Good timing. Those two timber over there are the carpenters... carpenters... Mm, apprentices. You should ask them about your house, hmm? Hmm, lads? Where's your... Mm, master? What? A master? You mean... the boss? If you're looking for the boss, he's inside. Your boss is the carpenter, right? We want to build a house. Could you take us to meet your boss? We certainly can. Come on, then. Don't dawdle or nothing. Hmm, looks good. Good luck with the carpenter. Hmm. I'll be waiting out here. Hmm. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> 